Welcome back to what the North Heights Art Project represents historical areas in the neighborhood. It comes in many forms. Melinda Huntley and Linda Vaughn are here today with more about the project and when you can see the art. It's always good to catch up with you ladies. Melinda, tell me how you kind of got the ball rolling with this project. This started because we realized that we were losing the history of North Amarillo. Mm -hmm. It had been passed down orally in families. Grandmothers had told their, their kids and they, who had told their kids. And we realized that it was going away. And uh, some of the stories are extremely significant. Stories mm -hmm. about um, things that happened during segregation that today we would just you know, we, we kind of cringe when we think about it happening, but it happened in Amarillo, Texas. And it's important to know those stories, um, so mm -hmm. that way that we, we, we don't repeat them and we're cognizant uh, of what mm -hmm. happened exactly. and, and, and the people that, that were able to walk us through that situation. Um, Linda, tell me about, uh, we, you guys brought in a piece of art, and I, right. I'm curious to learn just a little bit more about it. All right, you know Dr. J.O. Wyatt, whom, yeah. whom our clinic yeah, is named Yeah, J.O. Wyatt for. Clinic, right. yes ma'am. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Wyatt came to Amarillo as a young, gifted black man who wanted to start his practice. Mm -hmm. Do you know he was not allowed to practice in Northwest Texas or uh, St. Anthony's hospitals? So he started his own place. He started it down at where the Emerald Historical Cultural Center is at 901, 903 North 8. Okay. Well, the little house is still there. He also he built his hospital. He built his own uh, nurses uh, quarters and several years later he was allowed to practice in those hospitals but he kept his going because right. that was what that was for the community and the picture that you see right there is depicting a story that happened to Dr. Wyatt. Dr. Wyatt decided that he wanted to run and do something he wanted to run for a public for an office okay. which was a school board he was the first African American here in Amarillo to run at, for the school board, for a school board yeah. position. Well, when he announced, he woke up to a burning cross on his lawn. And so the young man who did this picture, he, all of the, all of the turmoil that, that, that was felt mm -hmm. comes out in that picture. Mm -hmm. So each one of our artists took something that they were given as part of the research and that's what's depicted in the picture. Now there was no picture, he, the, the artist didn't have a picture of Dr. Wyatt, but look at that, you can just feel it. Right. You feel the turmoil, you feel the, all the essence and that's what all of our paintings, all mm -hmm. of the paintings that, that are, and all of the artwork and the poetry, it just depicts the stories yeah. and that's what this is all about. Well, even as long as I've lived here and I've heard J.O. Wyatt's name a hundred times over and I knew he was a significant role player in, in the history of art, but I had no idea um, all those things and it's important to know that. It and, is. And you can, you can see on the picture, here's a man who uh, was saving lives, who was an integral part of the community um, and he was just trying to make it better and people tried to keep him from that. Um, tell us more about where we can go and, and see mm -hmm. some of this phenomenal art. Tomorrow night, First Friday Art Walk is at Arts in the Sunset. It's going to be from 5 o'clock to, to 9 o'clock okay. in the Garden Event Center. And that is kind of by the Sculpture Garden. Okay. And so the, all of the pieces are there along with the stories. So when you go, you want to look at the art, but you also want to read the stories that are associated with them. Because that's what really hits your heart, is the combination of the art and the story. And um, along with everything that's going on tomorrow night at First Friday Art Walk, Delvin's will be there, and okay. you can buy a meal there, so you don't have to cook. Go ahead and make it. And a, it's Delvin, so it's Delvin. I mean, enough said. Enough said. Yes, and they also have a new thing out at um, their First Friday Art Works where, where you can register to win five hundred dollars in art. Excellent. Well, so, ladies, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing that little yes. piece of hidden history that we have about Amarillo. And I know we've got so many stories that we need to share. Coming up next, the Better Business.